What the fuck is going on, everybody? It's nice to see you. I hope you're doing amazing out there. And if not, I hope some heavy metal can cure what ails you. My name is John, and today on this channel, we are going to be taking a listen to experimental black metal band White Ward and their song Phoenix from their 2022 album False Light. This is a bit of a long one, nearly 11 minutes in length, but I think it is entirely worth it, and this is a band that you should have on your radar. There are a ton of reasons why I wanted to cover this song. Uh, it covers so much musical ground, as you would expect in a song about this length. But all of the transitions and different feels and parts of this song feel completely natural. It doesn't feel forced. They just go to it, and you're with it every step of the way. That You feel at ease in the band's hands and trust them to take you on whatever journey it is that they feel. And with this song, I feel something different every time I listen to it, whether I'm paying attention to uh, just the instruments, whether it's the sultry saxophone solo that punctuates not just this song, but all of their music. Um, and even if you don't understand the lyrics that are going on, you can tell that there is just such a pain and a rage in this song that transcends language. It really is... Um, imbued with this feeling that the composers in White Ward have on their minds and want you to feel as well. And when you do dive into the lyrics, you see that this song is an evisceration of the plague that is mankind and how we as a species are dooming this earth that we live on so long as we survive. Yeah, cheery subject matter, right? It's not all sunshine and roses in heavy metal land, and it's certainly not what White Ward is about. So while we're talking about that, let's hear a little bit about this band. White Ward is a band from Odessa, Ukraine that merged black metal with heaps of dark jazz and really any type of music you can think of. They certainly earned the experimental adjective that precludes any talk of their genre, but their songs feel like complete compositions rather than just shit ideas thrown together to try and pass as a song. The five piece have released three full length albums so far, Futility Report in 2017, Love Exchange Failure in 2019, and most recently, False Light in 2022. This really is a band breaking the mold on what extreme music can be, and they are firing on all cylinders right now. Definitely a band to have on your radar if they aren't already. There is so much music to get to and talk about in this song that I don't even know if me telling you to expect saxophone, synth, atmosphere, and tons of chaotic black metal is really going to prepare you for this song. So without further ado, everybody, this is White Ward and their song, Phoenix. This one's going to be a journey, folks. I hope you're ready. Has Stranger Things ruined us to all synth intros right now? Like, poor John Carpenter. It's like the only thing that comes through my mind nowadays when I hear this shit. It's already setting the scene, like... You know, some pretty weighty shit is about to happen. It's that sinister bass line right there. so good it's killing me let's go come on so good the saxophone is diva is a full-time member of this band by the way This isn't just like a one-off type of shit that they do. All through their music. Those drum fills just... I can tell the 
know that they're a jazz player, you know? Excellent tremolo picking, come on. It's a rip that you want to follow along, it's not just dissident, you know? transitions I'm talking about where like it just flows you know we started in a completely different area but now we're here and we're like not questioning it another saxophone solo just ah uh, so good we're four minutes into the song already can you fucking believe it for the sack. drums here kind of sound like a heartbeat very faint dying heartbeat just adds so much to this song Barely hear the synths in the background there over under the sax, and now we're back into this chaotic black metal mess. Fuck yeah! That bass right there too.
even with this guitar solo that they're building to something else. Incredible. Incredible. part of the song too. Listen to this shit. Like you almost don't want to react because of these lyrics right now. The music is so fucking good. Punk in the middle of our fucking 10 minute long song. Why the fuck not? off after that, but hey, guess what? We're not done. Oh no. Not depressed enough yet? Here's some depressing samples for you. There's hardly any more glaring example in Australia today of a system which is a productive system which is destroying the beauty of landscape, the trees and plants, the birds and other animals for the sake of profit and all for the blessing to destroy our precious heritage, to turn it into Japanese paper, paper packages, is verging on the water. A way of life which has brought affluence in this century to a third of humanity now threatens the demise of all. Too many people demanding too much, destroy the earth, and trying to get the better one now. I mean, what do you say? It's a song where you just want to sit for a couple of minutes afterwards, just staring into nothingness, taking in what you just heard. But it's only the third song in the album, so there's plenty of more to come after that. Holy fuck. Holy fuck. In an incredible album, that is one of the standouts for me, and I have not been able to stop listening to this song. You want to chat about it? Let's do it. So yeah, so much going on in that song. It's hard to kind of figure out where to begin. It's a song that both speaks for itself and also reveals a lot more the more you listen to it. But certainly with an 11 minute, 10 minute long song packed with all of these ideas, it might be hard to kind of figure everything out for the first couple of listens or so. I know I'm still even wrapping my head around the album itself, but there's so much cool shit in here, whether it's the atmospheric synths that are punctuated throughout, uh, that are then followed up by Dima's saxophone playing, whether it's just to set the mood like in the beginning of the song or transition us into a different part of it. Uh, having those threads come and go and pop up over and over again really helps this song feel like a manageable time. Like it does feel like a long song, right? Because there's a lot going on in it, but it certainly doesn't feel like we're wasting away for 11 minutes or whatever. As far as what this song is singing about, what the message and what the story behind this song is. We talked a little bit about uh, it in the open, but this is basically an ode to man-made climate change and how terrible big business corporations and just the human race are. It 
fueling this demise that we're on and this destruction of the planet. And in fact, this is actually based on real events from something that happened in the Kherson region of Ukraine a few years ago where an environmental activist was doused with sulfuric acid and then died several months later. The line, I hope you're in a better place because your murderers don't care, uh, speaks exactly to this. White Ward says in uh, the liner notes of the album that the people responsible for the attack are still walking free to this day. It's kind of a uh, this all sucks and there's nothing that we can do about it type of song, but also saying that, yo, know, eventually nature is going to win out. The human race is going to be destroyed and the earth will again rise from these ashes that you've made. I love it. I love it. Music with a really important message without being preachy just saying like this is the shit that's going on human being and human existence is a horror movie all to itself and then using their art and their music as a form to get that out there into the world it's what it's about everybody it's fucking incredible and of course, where would we be at if we didn't talk about the actual metal in this song? Uh, you hear the black metal influences throughout, and uh, this part about six minutes in, I think might be my favorite, because it just gets into that chaos, and after all the things that we've been through, and all the stops and starts, and solos, and breaks, and everything to the contrary, having them just fucking gun it with the chaos right here really even like starts to fuck with your equilibrium a little bit because of how the blast beats are going and how intense the guitar chords are being strung let's do this Yeah, it's fucking magnificent once again. It's just a magnificent band. That is the adjective we're using for the rest of time for White Ward. And then unquestionably, my favorite part of the song is when it kicks into this, I don't know, chorus, if you could call it that. The big emotional release of the song where it just explodes into this massive moment. And then goes post-punk for a second. Just some weird kind of like clean guitar that are all wow wow wowing with sounds and flicks and accents and then you get that kind of Pete Steele low in melodic voice which I mean who the fuck saw that coming no I don't even know if White Ward saw this coming when they were writing this for the first time this just gets into how this band is able to take things that may or not may not necessarily be part of their quote-unquote sound and make them part of their sound without missing a fucking beat like what bands do this in a way that sounds so natural and serves the song they don't go back to it several thousand times or anything it's just one little part of it seven almost eight minutes into the song towards the back end of it that's like i need to listen to that song i need to listen to that part again so i'm gonna listen to it over and over and over again it's just incredible it's just so fucking good and one of the reasons why white ward are at the top of their game right now this riff kind of mirrors that one that we just heard about a minute or so ago Those double bass runs, y'all! And 
And I love how this repeats the most impactful lyrics of the song once again. Yeah, no worries, and this environmental ode to how fucked we are through dissonant chords and saxophone solos. We're gonna go a little bit of Sisters of Mercy for you, a little bit of Tears for Fears, why the fuck not? Oh my god, what? What were they thinking? I don't know, I don't care, because it's fucking beautiful. And then we have the sampled, long, monotone monologue that makes this just feel like absolute shit about the state of the world and where things are going on the path that we're currently on. And hey, look, fucking black metal is supposed to do that for you, right? Just make you feel dour and depressed and fucking how horrible things are. Mission accomplished, White Ward. Well, that's it for me on this song, everybody. I know it was a long one. Hope you enjoyed that one. I hope this is enough to get you interested to go check out White Ward. Go listen to False Light. Go listen to Love Exchange Failure. Go listen to anything that they've done. And hey, go buy some merch. Go buy a vinyl for it. They have plenty of fundraisers right now that are benefiting Ukraine. More details on their Instagram and their websites, which I'll have below. Go check them out and support the bands that you really, really love and want to continue making music. All right, everybody, until next time, we will see you then. If you like this video or any of the videos we've been doing, give us a like, give us a subscribe over there, and uh, as always, get in the comments and chat about this song, other songs, songs you want me to discuss, bands you want me to discover, all of that. We're a happy heavy metal family over here, so don't be shy. Get in there. I'll be with you in there as well, and until next time, everybody, stay heavy. Stay puffed.